What is wrong with you? I'm tired. You're tired? You're 20 years old. There's no reason for you to be tired. Well, when you go to sleep at 1 a.m. It's time to get on keto because I go to sleep at 1 a.m. and I wake up at 6 and I'm not tired. You're also very unnormal. That's not normal. <laughs> you need to get on to keto. That. And I think a good time to start is by trying all the different products in this month's Keto Box. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, and we do product reviews, and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. You have got to learn mom's lines so that I don't have to say that whole intro by myself. I can't memorize that much. So if you're new to our channel, I'm Joe. This is Anthony. The other half of Two Crazy Ketos is my wife, Rachel. But every month, Anthony, who is not a keto person, sits down and we go over all of the products that are in the keto box and we are going to review the ingredients. We're going to review the macros. We're going to tell you how much they cost, and then we're going to try them, and you are going to get a brutally honest opinion from a non-keto person. Yes, I will. I'll throw it across the room if I have to. But here's the thing about that. If he likes it, I'm telling good. you it's a good product. If he doesn't like it, it may be a good product. It may not be a good product. And if product. I hate it, then it means it's not. It's probably not good. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know what a keto box is, this is a monthly subscription box. There is a link for it down below along with a coupon code to get you some money off of your very first box. Uh, we really like it because you can try different products and you don't have to buy like a case of something, which is how a lot of these products come. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, so. You're not the box master. What do you mean I'm not the box master? I control the box, we've, we've established. Okay, this. so remember, now we have to try everything that's in this box. We're gonna go with this first. Keto Queen Creations Chocolate Cake Mix. Okay. So, is this including everything? Yes. Okay, so there's- Well, that's without the ingredients. Oh, okay. That's without the mix, that's just the okay. dry mix. So without the ingredients, it's gonna be 20 calories, one gram of fat, 17 total grams of, 17 total carbs, three grams of fiber, and 13 grams of sugar alcohol. So that's what, 16, so one net carb. Yes, so you're gonna need three eggs, half a cup of sour cream, and a cup of unsweetened milk, such as almond, coconut, or water. Okay, and then what are the ingredients? The ingredients are erythritol, coconut flour, unsweetened cacao, baking powder, and baking soda. Okay, so the ingredients are really good. The only thing I'm gonna knock I'm gonna have on this is the fact that I don't like it when a company gives you a mix like this and they don't tell you how, what the in, like nutrition facts is With like the wet prepared. So I like it. Tell me the dry mix and then tell me prepared. Now we did already make these. This is a cake mix. You have your choice. You can make it into a cake mix or you can make it into cupcakes. We made it into cupcakes, number one, because it's quicker. Number two, serving size, right? Like if you make it into a cake, what's the chance you're getting 12 servings out of that? What are you doing? You're making know, a mess. I it kind of fell apart. Well, it just came out of the oven, and so I'm just gonna have half of that one. They're very moist. I know you guys love it when we say moist. I'll pass. That doesn't taste like chocolate. That tastes like coconut. It does taste like coconut. There's a lot of coconut. Is there coconut flour in that? Yeah. It does taste like coconut. A lot of, that's the second ingredient is coconut. It's, so my it's, only thing is, this isn't like hard ingredients to find. Like there, they, if there's only five ingredients, you, ha used, you have all of these ingredients in your shelf. And I use the egg from the girls and I the use chickens. almond milk. So according to this thing, so Keto Queen, it's $13 for a bag. That's on sale, by the way. The That's, normal price is $15. Okay, so $15 a bag. You can probably go make this for the same amount, if not less money, than buying this. Actually, a long time ago, we tried a Keto Queen's recipe, or as a bag for 
like a pound cake mix and I did duplicate the recipe. I will leave a link for that right up here and it was like a fraction of the cost and the same exact macros. This just, it tastes It's awesome too much to cocoa, it should, they, she should have used a mix. Did she also use almond? She did not use almond. It, she it, should have used a mixture of coconut and almond flour. I don't know, it just is off to me. The, the erythritol really it's overpowers sweet, it. Yes. And it's just off. Now this one seems to be a little bit undercooked. I, I mean, I know we tried, let's try this. Maybe there's a, let's try another one. Oh, that one's kind of under, it's, no, it's not no, undercooked. No, this one's not undercooked. Try it, you gotta take another taste. It's just off. That one's just a little better. It's, but it's still, it's, it's off. It's very coconutty. It's very coconutty. Okay. So like you said, that's $13. Okay, next up. By the way, I will say, uh, going through this box as I was looking up all the prices, this is a good box. This is a good box. That's all I'm gonna say. Naughty, I didn't say, I said this, oh fine. This is John West. Remember, you got to eat everything that's in the box. Well, at least I don't have to read that one. John West Codro. Ew. Are you gonna eat this? Yeah, I'll eat it. <laughs> it's just, it's just cod. It's no, it's cod eggs. Oh, it's just. Um, it's cod caviar. I like caviar. Okay. Well, here's the good thing. I didn't get the reaction I wanted, but this wasn't in the box. This was sent to us for Fear Factor. I'm not doing that then. <laughs> That's, you shouldn't have even told me. I would have believed it. Well, we're saving Fear Factor, but you did just say you were going to eat it, and all of our subscribers have asked us to Great. have you do Fear Factor, and you just I said do you would eat this. So you're going to do it. We're going to save this one for the Fear Factor camping trip, what we're doing after Christmas, so that you can have this one. Fine. But we will make your brother eat it, too. It's just caviar. I like caviar. Okay. I'm we'll, a seafood eater. We'll see about that. Let's, let me have another one. <laughs> I don't know what I want to give you. Maybe They're all this. good stuff in there. Okay, this is, except for this, Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs. Okay, um, ooh, wow. It's a good thing I fixed my glasses. The ingredients in this are white chocolate flavored coating, which is cocoa butter, inulin, whole milk, wow, that is tiny, whole milk powder, erythritol, Natural flavors, stevia extract, vanilla extract. That's just the coating. Sheesh. Almonds, inulin, milk protein isolate. Um, what is that? Uh, more erythritol, cocoa butter, soluble tapioca fiber, natural flavors, cashew, glycerin, freeze-dried strawberries, sun sunflower oil, lecithin, salt, citric acid, MCT oil, Coconut whey protein isolate stevia extract. Contains milk, almonds, coconut, and cashews. It's a lot. Okay, so a serving is one of these bars. There's 80 calories in it, six grams of fat, three grams of protein, eight total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, two grams of sugar alcohol, making it two net carbs. Wait, 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 wait. I thought it said down here something different. I thought it said one over here, never mind. Okay. I tell you right now, I already don't really like fat bombs. That's not a fat bomb, because that's really good. There's Is this strawberry cheesecake? There's fat bombs that are good. You've liked some of my fat bombs. My chocolate This is fire. My chocolate chip cookie dough, you used to eat that constantly. No, it's Caleb. It's pretty good. I don't know. It's a little grainy for me. It's a cheesecake. No. Yes, it is. It is a cheesecake. That is the graham cracker crust. I like it. Don't listen to him. <laughs> if I like it, then you'll like it. I don't like the fact that it's slim fast and they're just taking advantage of the keto lifestyle. Um, you can buy these in Target, $10 for 14 of them. All right. Shrewd Keto Dippers. Shrewd Foods. Okay. Dark chocolate, so it's just dark chocolate. They're protein puffs. All right. So, there it is. The ingredients are 
Sugar-free dark chocolate, which is just unsweetened chocolate or Wurtzertal, mm. insulin, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, stevia extract, and natural vanilla extract, and milk protein isolate. So there's only really t two ingredients in there. Sugar-free dark chocolate and milk protein isolate. Okay. Um, there are, there's one serving per container. Okay. So this is one serving. Thank yep. you. There are 11 grams of total fat. 13 grams of total carbs, 7 grams of fiber, and 4 grams of sugar alcohol, making it 2 net carbs. How many calories? 140. That's okay. Little... Oh, these are big. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. That's good, but I'm confused. What is the inside supposed to be? A protein puff. Kind of like uh, the cereal school things. It's got... The chocolate is very good. Uh-huh. I will absolutely say the chocolate I'm is I'm thrown very off by good. the crunch. It's got the texture. It reminds you of eating a chocolate malt, like the, the malt balls. Yeah. Right? It, it's, it, Maltese's. That's, huh? Maltese's, something like that. It just wrote Whoppers is what yeah, I was Yeah, uh, Whoppers. It reminds you of eating Whoppers, but it doesn't have the flavor of Whoppers. Yeah. But it's got that texture with the chocolate and then that crunch inside. But they're pretty good. Those are pretty good. I may have to order some of these. Uh, you buy it in a big package from them. It breaks down to $2.50 a piece. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. I say we save this one for like... A fear factor. No, why? What is it? I don't know. It just doesn't look good. Bright Fox hydration beverage for a brighter tomorrow. Cucumber and mint. Okay, so Sparkling. I actually just got a smart water that was watermelon and mint, and it was one of the nastiest things that I've ever drank in my life. Okay, so Bright Fox is the delicious way to stay hydrated, made with a scientifically formulated mix of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and more than two times the electrolytes of popular sports drinks to optimize your night and brighten your morning. The ingredients are carbonated water, citric acid, sodium citrate, monopotassium phosphate, um, natural flavors, sodium benzenate, uh, sodium sorbate, uh, L-choline bitterate, vitamin E, calcium, pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc, and sulfate. So I see no sweeteners in this whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> this is about to be fun. Oh. You can go over the oh, let's zero, zero, everything, isn't it? So it's zero calories, zero How's fat, How is there a zero gram proteins, of carbs? One gram of carbohydrates. How is that possible? Natural flavors can have carbohydrates in it. But it can't have any calories? Yeah. Okay. Well, technically. Oh, is it sparkling? Technically, it should have four calories if there's a carbohydrate in it. I can see it bubbling. You it is that? sparkling. That's very. Smell that. It, it smells. Smell. It smells like cucumber mint. It does. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Wow. Oh. Okay. Well. If you like cucumber mint, you're going to really it like this. It tastes like fox pee. Bright fox. Get out of here. Okay. That does not taste good. Okay. If you like... I I mean, I've had things like cucumber mint before. It tastes like cucumber mint. It tastes mint. like cucumber mint. It's it, very it, strong. It is a very strong flavor. It is. There's no sweetener to it, so it's, it's very bitter. It is. It is very bitter. And it tastes like when, you know... Rachel likes to wear like masks sometimes, like the cucumber masks. It tastes like that stuff smells. Like the yeah. Ooh, no. And uh it's three fifty a bottle and you have to buy like a whole case of it. That's it's like eighty bad. bucks up front. No. Alright. Naughty peppermint dark protein bark. Alright. So there are three servings in this container. It's about a third of the bag. Um, there are 130 calories, 10 grams of fat, 13 grams of total carbs, 5 grams of fiber, less than 1 gram of total sugar, and 
six grams of sugar alcohol, making it two net carbs. The ingredients are cocoa mass erythritol, whey protein concentrate, which is milk, insulin, inulin, which is vegetable fiber, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, natural flavor, stevia leaf extract. Ooh, that smells like peppermint. I like peppermint. I love. I like anything peppermint. I love peppermint bark, peppermint candy. Ooh, those are nice pieces. I don't taste the peppermint. Me neither. I was waiting for it to hit me. I have essence of peppermint. No. Like essential, it's like they just put a couple drops of essential oil in there. At the and they call it peppermint. At the very end. I don't taste peppermint. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really have to try hard to get that peppermint. The chocolate's not bad, but because... Well, because of whatever peppermint they put in there, it's like outweighing the chocolate. Yeah. And then it's making the chocolate have a bad taste. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I was going to say. So the chocolate's not bad at first. You're like, oh, chocolate. And then you're like, what's that weird aftertaste? And then because it's the peppermint. Th that weird aftertaste is the peppermint, but there's not enough peppermint. So it makes it taste like a bad chocolate, is right? It maybe this peppermint, this little piece right here. Mm, I don't know. Yes. But the funny part is, is even looking at the ingredients, nowhere in here does it say peppermint. I did say natural flavors. But it would say peppermint. Why didn't you want your ingredients With to say natural peppermint? peppermint flavor. So I don't know. If you're just putting natural flavors, why didn't you put natural? I don't know. I've had, like, I'm a, when I when you tell me peppermint bark, I'm looking for an Andy's Candies yeah. flavor. Um, naughty. Naughty. Uh, price of this was $7. So, yeah, I don't know. Give you this one. Everything that's left is good, so I don't. Everything. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm looking for. There's no meat stick. Double chalk, double dark chocolate chip super fat cookies. So the ingredients in this are almonds, erythritol, cocoa powder, grass fed butter, chocolate chips, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract. That's the ingredients of chocolate chips: coconut flour, coconut oil, water, egg, acacia gum. Arrowroot powder, grass-fed collagen, cinnamon baking soda, vanilla extract, tapioca flour, psyllium husk powder, guar gum, stevia, and salt. Uh, there's two servings in a package, about four cookies per serving, 130 calories per package or per serving, 12 grams of fat, 4 grams of protein, 13 total carbs, six sugar alcohols, one, uh, three uh, fiber, which makes it nine. So that's four net carbs per serving. Seems kind of high, but it is. So what is, is it Dutch? Double dark chocolate chip cookies. Where's the chocolate? They're not very sweet. No. That'll be a pass for me. They're just not. They're they're okay, but to me, not worth they're four okay. net. That that cookie's not worth a carb. No, it's not. Like one net carb. That's what that is. It, That's it, one net carb for that cookie. Yeah. That cookie is not worth a carb. And I don't even know how many total carbs that is. That's like what almost four total carbs for that one cookie. No. No, not for me. There's only eight cookies in here too. Yeah. Uh, price on those, $15 for three bags. All right. I'm going to... Now, high key. now I've never had a high key that I don't like. High key mini cookies. Peanut butter flavor. I love peanut butter, so they're up, they're up to the task on this one. Okay. So there are two servings in this container. They're about seven... They're about... They're, uh, one serving is seven pieces. So there should be 14 pieces in here. Per serving, it is... 11 grams of fat, 12 grams of carb, 2 grams of fiber, less than 1 gram of total sugar, and 8 grams of erythritol, making it 2 grams of net carbs. Ingredients. Ingredients. Peanut butter. Okay, good. That's the first ingredient, which are just dry roasted peanuts and sea salt. Sweetener blend, erythritol stevia extract, steviol and glycodes, monk fruit extract, almond flour, butter, 
which is cream milk in, cream and milk, inulin, dried egg whites, natural flavors, baking powder, which is monocalcium phosphate, baking soda, and cornstarch, and salt. See the indifference in the ingredients between that and these yeah. here? Like, what a difference. This was like a laundry list of ingredients. Ooh. This and one. this is, here we're talking about peanut now, butter. Now, hold on. So there's seven seven cookies. Okay, so never mind. So I was gonna say so there so seven of these are two carbs, two grams of net carbs. And now that's peanut compared butter. as to one of those. Okay, but I know, these, but but these are bigger. But, but I'm saying you're getting more. I would rather have. I'd rather have seven of these than. I I want a lot, even if it's even if they're smaller. But I'm saying two of those cookies are the same as seven of these. Now four of these. Four of these. One, 32, one of these is one carb. 32 grams. So it's about the same size weight-wise. But now these are peanut butter, which are going to be higher in carbs. Are you going to give me a cookie? That's so much. Grab your own cookie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good cookie. All of their cookies are good. And, I mean, I haven't had the peanut butter one. But... It's good. Peanut butter is always going to be higher in carbs. I think the regular, like, chocolate chip ones are much lower in carbs. That's good. Wow. That is a peanut butter cookie. I love peanut butter. That is that is a good And I don't know what they did that there's not that cooling effect afterwards, no. but they actually High did key it. makes great cookies. We actually have a discount code, I'll link it down below. They make good cookies. Alright. Let's give you this. Legendary Foods Pop-Tarts. Um, ingredients in this are almond flour protein blend, which is micellular casein, collagen peptides, whey protein isolate, erythritol, high oleic sunflower oil, soluble corn fiber, allulose, cellulose, palm oil. Contains less than 2% of dried strawberries, vanilla extract, strawberry extract, gum arabic, sea salt, baking soda, gelatin, citric acid, xanthan gum, sunflower lecithin, then modified food starch, glycerin, FDNC red number 40, FDNC red, uh, yellow number 5, FDNC yellow number 6, FDNC blue number 1, sucralose, sodium alginate, natural flavors. Servings is one pop tart or a pastry, 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 21 total carbohydrates, 8 grams of dietary fiber, 5 grams of erythritol, 4 grams of allulose, that makes it 4 net carbs per Pop-Tart. No scissors. I'm going to let you open that. Good luck. <laughs> We've had these before. Are you having a problem there? Get stronger teeth. Uh, well, half my teeth aren't real. Uh, we've had these before. They're really good. They're much better warmed up, but I'm not going to go warm it up. Anthony's the Pop-Tart aficionado. Okay, I'm sorry. This is not the same as what we have have had last I, time. I have to say I would agree. I, I remember the, the frosting I, being white. I remember the frosting being white, and I remember it not being a soggy mess. Like, no, it's always been like really? that. Really? Like that bad? That doesn't look appetizing to me. Well, neither does a Pop-Tart, if you want to be honest. You've just insulted my heritage. <laughs> it doesn't taste as good. Is that just me? It's been a while since I've had one. They have some new flavors. Listen, here's the thing. If you like Pop-Tarts, they're good. They're a science project. They're high in total carbs. This doesn't taste good. I'm sorry. That doesn't, uh, I do not remember. Maybe it was because of the brown sugar cinnamon one that I had. You like the made. brown sugar cinnamon one. I think the brown sugar cinnamon one's better. The strawberry flavor doesn't come through mm. super amount in that one. Um, they are a science project. They're pretty good. Um, they're expensive though. $2.50 a pastry. You gotta buy a box of 10. They're $25 for a box. I don't know. This seems very soggy. Okay, next up. Uh, I'll do this one. Nuts and chocolate and coconut. How about that? This looked interesting. So there should only really be th like three ingredients, right? According to this thing. Okay. Um, They're right here. Okay. Only the cleanest ingredients. Oh, so oh, so they have it like bullet point style. Okay. Pecans, walnuts, no sugar added, milk, chocolate pieces, 
ch which is chocolate liquor, milk, non-GMO, erythritol, inulin, extract of chicory root, soy lecithin, uh, vanilla, salt, and stevia extract, almonds, Brazil nuts, unsweetened coconut, hazelnuts, sea salt, and avocado oil. There are four servings in this container, and a serving size is about an ounce. There are 180 calories per serving, 17 grams of fat, 6 total grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, and 1 gram of sugar. So that means that there's 3 total net carbs in a serving. Which is pretty good for nuts and chocolate. I will say this, this package is jam-packed full. This yeah. is not like a half-empty bag. So when they say four servings, I'm interested in this. I was really interested. So it's basically like a nut trail mix. Ooh, Brazil nut. Brazil nut, you gotta get like a little bit of each. There's like chocolate, there's chocolate chips. There's coconut, Anthony's favorite. This this looks interesting. I'm gonna I have a comment. I'll okay. let you. Why does that taste like the wood department from Home Depot? I'm gonna get all the nuts in okay. first. It tastes like the wood department from Home Depot, if I'm being honest. Okay. I swear to you, they bagged the smell. No. Yes. It's not fresh. That's why, don't taste good. No. Wow. I really had my hopes up, but the nuts- I thought that was gonna be good. I really did. The nuts taste stale. They're like really <coughs> stale. <coughs> I'm sucking my throat. <coughs> Best by June of 21. They Don't taste nuts like June 20. It tastes no. like last year, June 21. The, they taste like they're not fresh nuts. That's what the problem is. They don't taste fresh. I've tried every nut in there. I haven't. I took a, what is this? Try a Brazil nut. That's gonna be, that should be the best buttery tasting nut. Yeah. It's, it should, I mean, yeah. It's, I tried every nut in here and none of them taste good. They, they are like stale. Such a shame. I was really looking forward to that. Um, and the price of these, <clears throat> um, it was $20, $20 for three bags. So when you consider like how big the bag is and what's in it. That would have been real good. I thought it was a really good price, but yeah, that's a shame. Maybe we just got a bad bag. Okay. Last product? Yes. Okay, we've not tried one of these yet. I've been wanting to. The Duncan Hines Keto Friendly Walnut Fudge Brownie Max. So I need to go make this, right? Yeah. Um, okay. So the ingredients in this are almond flour, allulose, coconut, a uh, cocoa powder processed with alkali, palm oil, walnuts, coconut flour, dried egg whites, contains less than 2% of leavening, which is cream of tartar, baking soda, uh, xanthan gum, salt, stevia, and contains egg, tree nuts, almonds, coconut, and walnut. One serving per container, uh, 380 calories, uh, 23 mm. grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 33 total carbohydrates. What do they get? What is six in Six grams of dietary fiber and 22 grams of allulose. That is a lot of allulose. Okay, we're gonna go make this. Add two tablespoons of cold water, one tablespoon of melted butter, stir well, we'll try replacing butter with coconut or avocado oil. Nope. No, no we'll, thank you. We'll do it with butter. We'll be right back. That is awfully small for how many net carbs again? Thir 33 total carbohydrates. Minus 22. Minus the cup five. is not even half full. Yeah, it's not. This better be good. It's Duncan Hines, right? It better be good. No shot that's different than what their actual things are. Okay, it's got walnuts in it. I'll give it that. I like brownies with walnuts. Do you like your brownies with nuts in them or without nuts? Without. I like them with. Okay. This tastes like a brownie. Flavor-wise, it is very good. 
I'm going to say that considering the amount of allulose in there, it's not good. it is not very sweet. Would I buy that? No, that that is like way too many. I mean, I think that the legendary foods like are high in carbs. And this is just ridiculous. 33 total carbohydrates in that. Yeah. That is a lot of to And it's even a lot of net carbs. I honestly would rather have that than this. Like there are so many other substitutes to make a keto brownie that isn't that high in total carbohydrates. Yeah. It does I taste good though. It, it does taste good. It's a bit of a science experiment, though. It's only $2, too, though. And it's $2 in Target. Actually, it's not. The, the ingredients aren't super bad. It's just a lot of allulose. It's a lot of allulose. A lot of it. But they were $2 in Target. Um, what do you think did. of this box? I had high hopes for this box. It looks good, but it didn't turn out 50% of it, I didn't like the taste of. I yeah. mean, these were really good. Those were, yeah. These were really good. Yeah. What else was good? This was good, even though I wouldn't buy it. What else did we have? I, I, well, I threw the Pop-Tart out because we didn't want it. Okay. Oh, the, the Bark Thins. I think they were over there. Yeah. that. So, These were okay. The Bark Thins didn't have enough peppermint in them. Yeah. So, I don't know. I had high hopes for the box, but overall, the Fat Bomb was, was good. That was okay. So, this stupid fox, bright fox thing was terrible. That was terrible. nasty. So the, how about that? Yeah, the ingredient they tasted stale. Maybe we had a bad batch. But Maybe we had a bad batch. I don't know. So overall, yeah, not that good. So that's gonna be today's video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, um, check out some of the other review videos. We have linked right down there. Also, make sure you look, take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whatever you do, whether you go that way or you go this way, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video and you get to see Anthony trying keto foods. Until next time, bye. bye.